All right, well, welcome everybody for coming. Hi, Tina, Jane, Donna, Dawn. We're so excited to have you. Christine, some people have a first initial and I don't know if I know and Yolanda, maybe Brian, Ooh, another Brian, I don't know. Um, some of the names are like the first initial and then the last name. So I'm not for sure if I know all the names. So sorry if I didn't say hi directly to you, but we are so glad you're here. Thank you for joining us. And this is our first virtual warehouse tour, which we're super excited about. Um, we have Pace Center Awards. So yay, so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so so fun I think the energy will be fun just to kind of get like our day going right <laughs> Since it's yeah, so like, what better appreciate. way to start the day than with Sam and Scott exactly, <laughs> exactly. it's true it's very it's very very true yeah so um we will um if you are if you guys are ready um we're ready yep we're set to rock and roll we're recording and we're all set Perfect. All right, so, perfect. Yeah, I'll give everybody a little background about us first. So right now we're we're in the city of Chicago. We're as we're as far northwest as you can get in the city of Chicago without leaving and going to Edgebrook or Skokie. Um, so we are a local supplier for you guys. Um, and I just I have Scott right here. He's going to give a quick overview of uh, go over there, <laughs> of a couple of our products just getting ready for the holiday season. And so as some of you might know, if not, we have a full catalog of glass, crystal, acrylic awards along with hanging plaques and lots of different items of mixed materials. Um, so if you have any questions or need to go through our catalog fully, just let one of us know. Uh, to highlight a few of the items that may not be aware of or that are good items to start thinking about really because they're popular. Uh, one of our most popular items is our Lucite blocks. So we offer this in many different sizes um, they can be lasered, but it's great with the color details. They could be used for so many different purposes from years of service, from branding, from promotion to indoor signage and to an award. Um, if you're looking to use acrylic in more creative ways, we can do acrylic cutouts. So one way we could do acrylic cutouts, either with white acrylic, black acrylic or clear acrylic, we can bend it. And then we can do an imprint, a color imprint. We can do custom shapes. These are really cost effective if you start doing 50 or 100. And they can be used, again, for indoor signage, tables, or even awards. Instead of it being a star, it could be five years of service. Uh, then if you get into more elaborate acrylic awards, where we have multiple pieces, multiple layers, thick cuts, um, mixed materials, uh, then you can get really creative for their program doing um, different custom acrylic awards. You know, this again could be years of service or it could be milestones for a company uh, or it could be indoor signage as well. Um, as you're approaching the holidays and neat uh, types of gift items, we have a full line of our art glass awards. Here's one example. These can be used as end of year awards or they can be used as gifts. You know, because it's a nice thing, depending on what you put here, maybe a logo or happy holidays. Uh, and we have many different sizes and price points for art glass. Uh, as you start thinking about uh, other holiday items, we have a full line of leatherette items. Here's a wine tool set uh, that comes with four different uh, things. And you can put your logo on here, a slogan. We have many different leatherette items going from a few dollars up to like $60, $70. So there's many different options like keychains, coasters, and different wine tool set. Uh, and then as you start thinking about the awards program, hopefully these start popping back in the mind more and more for companies. Uh, we can do custom glass. Not everybody thinks of that. Uh, this is a piece that we imported from overseas that was custom designed using uh, blue glass and aluminum which is another material that really enhances the look and feel uh, for the customization. So we can do custom glass, custom metal, uh, custom acrylic, you name it. We have lots of different options just to highlight some. Uh, and then getting into, as many of you know, if you were at the, uh, actually we got our VP uh, right here, Jim O'Neill. Many of you have seen Jim at different shows. This hey is the, uh, the mastermind behind all of our acrylic barriers. Um, so back in March, as many of you know, obviously we're a big acrylics manufacturer 
however, out of awards and different signage plaques. Uh, but our turn with the pandemic, uh, Jim was actually at one of our local grocery stores, Jewel, and saw one of our, uh, I saw an acrylic barrier and thought, you know, with all the awards programs going away and all the national sales meetings ceasing to exist, these are something we could easily make. So I got a couple new designs here. So we got the, the nice design here with the prongs. Obviously, you got the big pass through on the bottom there and, and the, the capability the to be bolted down. So this could be more of a, a permanent barrier. I know a lot of uh, a lot of our local gas stations, I walk in and I, I personally, I don't feel safe due to the flimsiness and how small their barriers are. And if it's a windy day, their barriers are blowing off their shelves. So having something like one of these that could be bolted down um, is one of our very, very popular designs. And obviously it's got that pass through there. So if you are uh, completing a transaction, um, great for auto dealerships. I mean, auto sales are, are a lot of face-to-face -face sales. So having that ability to be face-to-face -face with people and being able to pass your contracts and everything right underneath and have a safe sale um, can work for a, a lot of your clients. And then getting back to one of our, oops, got to flip it here. One of our first designs, Jim, I'll let you get into this one here. Well, uh, this one uh, is, is a uh, low budget uh, one that has locking legs, which uh, nobody else has. Uh, usually when you pick up uh, barriers like this, the legs fall off. So we have a version that has a handle that they use at restaurants, um, but this is a super popular uh, product for us. We've got like, again, we've got 50 different styles in every budget, uh, in every type of barrier. We, we haven't stopped. We're still going because there's plenty of barrier business to go. Uh, masks work. These help. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah, so I mean, we're seeing with a lot of uh, Stacy and I were just talking uh, before this started about uh, my child going back to school in a few weeks. And a lot of these schools are, are really operating on the fly and putting in man different mandatory aspects. And one thing that we keep hearing pop up is that safety barriers are needed, whether it's for uh, a lunchroom table, whether it's for uh, if they have individual tables where you need to divide the table into a working area for six or eight different students. We have barriers that can do any of that. So like, feel free, reach out. We could do custom. So if you have a specific size that you need to protect or a specific need. So we've done some for uh, a winery where we actually did a cool custom cutout for the pass through of a wine glass. So the wine glass could actually slide through. Um, so just a ton of ways to get creative and fun with these barriers as well. They're not going away. Nope. They're not going away anytime soon. So now we're going to head out into the factory and, uh, and get this aspect going here. Oh, we do have we do have one more PPE product here that that is brand new, and that is our mask dispensers. That's so really cool. a couple of different versions here. Um, great for any of your small business clients. Um, have one a full box capability, so it's kind of like your your straw dispenser here, so you can grab the masks out or a, a top loader, so you can just grab these right off the top there and load more in. So I mean, this is great for small businesses right now. Um, obviously, your Walmarts, your Targets, your Costco's of the world don't have a problem turning away an individual for no mask. However, small businesses that are struggling right now do not want to turn away business. So having something like these mask dispensers there to be able to protect customers um, would be very, very important. And one more thing, too, these these dispensers can have a logo imprinted on them, too. So if they want a little extra branding at their site, they can accomplish that. All right, now we will head out into our factory here. Um, so we do have just over about 25,000 square feet here. Um, it's kind of quiet right now because it, it is break time. However, we'll find some, uh, we'll find some cool things to look at here. Um, we're gonna start over in our fabrication department, which is where most of our orders will start, which is where we have all of our stock sheets of acrylic, where that's what everything starts as, whether it's a safety barrier, one of those mask dispensers, you can see when we say that we have uh, the safety barriers are good in stock, this is what we're talking about because they are all made to order. And we just have tons and tons of acrylic just ready to go, ready to be cut, um, as well as here's for the larger barriers as well. Um, so obviously we have some, some free cut. Uh, these, are, these are actually for an order, but. And the blue you see is just a film protecting the, the clear acrylic. Yeah, one question we get asked a lot is if our, our barriers are able to ship without being damaged. 
Uh, the answer is yes, because we do ship them with, with this blue mask on there. So like Scott was saying over there, um, you can see I don't, if you, there's a small thin layer there that it's protective. So you peel it off. That way your barriers aren't getting scratched in shipping or getting damaged in shipping. Just one note, they can be the blue, they might be the white, they might be the brown. It depends on our shipment of acrylic. Here, as you look over for all of our awards, we have sheets and sheets of acrylic here. From uh, You can see this is black acrylic to thick, different thicknesses. So, you know, when we're designing awards, we have this material here at our hands. And then you go across, you got the clear acrylic in different thicknesses. And this is where it all starts, the big sheets of acrylic before we design the awards that are in a catalog or design custom awards for you. Yeah, so like if we're, for example, when we're quoting barriers, we talk a lot about yield. Uh, so that's just determining how many barriers can we make out of this master sheet of acrylic. Um, so that's why our, a lot of our stock sizes are what they are. We're, we're at 23 and a half inches uh, height on a lot of them. And that is due to the yield. Again, like I said, we could do um, any custom size your client may want. Um, but yeah, this is just the, where it all starts. It's cool to see how a, awards and barriers start as just a thin sheet of acrylic. And then we go over to my personal favorite piece of machinery that we have, and that's our CNC machine. Um, so unfortunately, we got nothing going on on this right at this second. However, you can see that's a big spaceship looking design. This is uh, one of my favorite machines that we have. Uh, this is, we do a lot of different texturizing on acrylic with these. Um, I'll have to pull an award. So here, you can kind of see it on here where you can see that you kind of see the texture on the side. So that's what the CNC machine is able to do. Do different kind of cuts, give some dimension in our laser cuts, um, just to give it some more added value, to give a different type of dimension to the awards for your clients. Um, so then getting into our, actually our most popular machines right now, let me flip this around so you can see. So obviously there's one, two, we have a third over there, uh, many more on the other side as well. So this is actually where all of our cutouts happen. So this is where we cut the acrylic. Uh, let's see if we have anything getting cut on here. I want to turn this around so you're not all spinning. Um, so here you can see on this laser, we have a couple couple of them set up that have, that have already. Oh, your screen disappeared. There you are. Already been cut. <laughs> so you can see there's there's those legs. And the cool thing is you can see the barrier is actually cut out up here. And that pass through is what we use to make the legs so that we're not we don't have a lot of scrap. We're able to utilize even that pass through area to make those interlocking legs. And then the legs just lock right in this slot and this slot right here. And that that has them locked together so those legs don't fall out of there. So just a really cool process. Our designers are always thinking of things like this to, to make up for that scrap so that we don't, we're not having to charge anymore. We're able to use that same, the same sheet to make the entire barrier versus having to try to break it in and, and get another sheet of acrylic just to make the legs. So just another wonderful thing that we're able to do as far as acrylic and design work to really utilize the entire sheet of acrylic. And then over here in the same in the same department is where we do a lot of our laser imprinting. So you can see as Scott was talking earlier on the gift items, here's one of our pieces of drinkware here. Uh, again, we have one piece of minerals on our drinkware. It is all laser engraved, so obviously we can't get that full color imprint on there. Uh, however, we do laser on all of these. The great thing about it is we are able to personalize as well since a lot of times on these lasers, we're doing plates for plaques, we're doing a, acrylic awards. So we're used to personalizing on these machines. So we're able to drop a, a customer name on there. Uh, I know that it's big for getting back to work. People aren't sharing drinkware. So definitely making sure you got your name on your piece of drinkware. Um, so nobody else is using it right now. It's a great thing that you're, that you're able to do with our drinkware. Over here, you can see Cool how she lines up the lasers so we're not lasering too deep. This is one of our nice acrylic atabar, atabar plaques. So the bars will actually slide in between here. 
and lock in this area. So a great perpetual award uh, that's getting custom made right now. So obviously this started where we just showed you as one of the big sheets and then obviously laser down to this and the bars eventually drop inside of there as well. There's a couple cool processes that we're able to do with our, in our laser department. We're constantly, even through the pandemic with, uh, with all the increase in barriers, we've actually added three to three or four uh, different lasers to this department uh, just to assist with, uh, with that workload and getting all of these barriers done. Uh, getting back to uh, one of our more dusty departments is our sanding and buffing. So we'll do a little outside look here. You can see in there, buff in the, corner, buff in the corners of those awards, uh, get them real nice and shiny for you, making sure they don't have any frosted edges, um, no nicks, no chips in the side there. That, that buffing process gets it all done for you. <laughs> And then getting back to my personal favorite um, application that we have, which is sandblasting. Um, and that's because it's just, it's got so much that goes into it with the artwork and the film and the imprinting. Um, it's something I, I would have never realized is goes into the in award process, obviously outside of the award industry. So let's go over here to where the films are made for the, for the sandblasted awards. We got a couple of them right here that just came out of the films. So you can see that that five year, that white five year anniversary text, all that text is what's gonna be sandblasted on the award. All that blue is not gonna be imprinted at all. So this actually goes through the old fashioned, uh, the old heater and that gets burned into the film. So that when we sandblast, again, only that white clear imprint is going to get imprinted. Everything else is, is going to remain the same. So what happens is, in a nutshell, is we take the art you submit, we create a proof that we send you as a PDF for approval, and then it gets sent, for example, to the sandblasting department so they can burn these films, wrap it on the glass, and then etch it. And we'll show you a little bit of the process. Do you have any that need to be sandblasted? No, we're sure. ahead. I'm trying to find an award to be sandblasted. Oh. So here we go. We got to show you the. There's a there's one of our glass cubes that's wrapped with that film we just showed you. You can see all the tape on there to protect it. This is so we're not missing that and getting a little chip off of the bottom of the side here. Let's go. Let's go in here and take a look at what he's doing. So you can see that that knocked out all that clear. Obviously, the blue around here is all still going to be clear glass with that ink logo imprinted on there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna peel this off of here for you and show you what the final product looks like. You can see that all that clear is protected around there. Some of the extra extra sand getting fallen off of there makes you feel like you're at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> And you can see once that's all peeled away, you got that nice frosted imprint on there with nothing else. Nice big logo. Again, just a, an old school process of burning the image into the film, wrapping the film manually onto the awards. You get that nice, crisp, clean frosted imprint on there. And then it'll get cleaned and wrapped. Yep. So just a really cool process. Thank you very much. Very cool process that I would have never thought of one of these sandblasting machines um, engraving on, on awards. I would normally think uh, my neighbor's a mechanic. I know they clean car parts with, uh, with the sandblaster. Uh, one of our, what, another one of our great departments is our screening department. Um, we don't have anything going through here right now. Obviously you can see it's a traditional screen printer with UV drying, um, just like on t-shirts, anything else. The main thing we use this for is, is if we're doing PMS color matching or have a, like a one color background. We do have a little film on here. You can see this was for a 12 by 15 plaque. So you can see we just screen that color right through there. Just the same as, as any other t-shirt screening. Um, 
screening on any other substrate. It's it's the same. Obviously, the film here, and then goes right through there for drying. It's um, a labor intense process. So now with the modern age that we'll show you next of our digital printers, it makes color imprinting much more cost effective versus screening. But screening is good for those custom jobs where they really need to match like a color or two. So getting into our, our full color process, which has been our most popular for years now, you can see we have two full color Fuji machines, one on each side. Uh, these are just acrylic tablets like Scott showed you in the beginning with, uh, with that full color imprint on there. You can see they got these little legs on there and that's due to acrylic always has some variance in thickness, whether it's a 16th of an inch to even an eighth of an inch in variance. However, that variance uh, can affect the printing capabilities. So what we do is we rig all of the blocks of acrylic. That way they're all the same height. Whereas if we had them all laying directly on the bed, some would be slightly higher, some would be slightly lower. Whereas we would, um, we'd be doing dropping a lot more ink on some of the awards and we'd have um, a lot less quality control over the pieces with uh, the variance in height. So you can see there's, there's how it starts and there's the finished product here with that full color imprint. Are you about to run the machine? Yeah. Right. We're, gonna have a, we're gonna have a print run going here. Just give us one second. He's finishing getting them all set up. You can see, it's always good to show the customers how how much detail actually goes into the imprinting here. You can see exactly how specific he is with lining these up. Um, yeah. Obviously went Talk through with the, with the machine first and, and put the lines to where, where each piece should be. Is there any, so we, they draw the map of where the pieces should be and then he lines up the pieces. Does any variance again being off, you know, a quarter inch, half inch, to take the art and put it off to the wrong angle, the wrong side. So there's a lot of detail and time that goes into just preparing the machine for your print job. So yeah, while he's getting this set up here, you can see exa exactly how big this thing is. I'll show you one of my favorite things that we did with these machines once we got them all set up. See this nice, beautiful, huge skyline of Chicago picture that we actually printed on one of these machines. Um, so you can see the amount of detail we can get in there uh, with all the lights and colors. Just way, way cool with, with what we could do. We do a lot of uh, a lot of memorial plaques we do with even the, a high res image. So a photo that somebody took doing that imprint on there, getting that detail to get different people um, imprinted on, onto a plaque. Uh, we, we love to inc incorporate that detail. Again, our full color, still our most popular process. Um, so here we're getting this all set up here. Let me turn you around. Well, it's taking a second longer than anticipated. So we'll, uh, I'll, sh I'll show you a couple more cool pieces that have come through this digi department here on the wall. They keep some, uh, some relics of some nice pieces they did. You see that nice big Michigan M. Uh, you can see like this shell, full cut, this shell energy. Again, a nice skyline image. Again, we, like, we can incorporate the skyline of, of any city. We can incorporate any photo. Um, you can see we actually have a magazine cover over here. So there's a, there's a ton of cool different kind of stuff we could do with, with our full color machine. Uh, again, got some nice full color artwork here. I uh, hope oh, we got the, we got the machine up and going now. So this, the head that you just saw move down, this guy right here is actually what's going to go down and lay the ink. So you can see it laid just a little bit on that first run. And it slowly lays one color at a time while simultaneously drying it with that UV light you see coming out underneath. So as soon as that ink's laid down, that UV light that goes over, it's drying it. So you can see what it's laying down on there now. You got a couple colors. But again, that's, that's going to turn into this with all those different colors in there. 
So you can see it's starting with the rising to the challenge in that navy blue, the darker color outline. Now it's going in there, getting some of those oranges. One cool thing about all of our all of our digi, you can see that white hit on the back. That's to give the, the color a solid a solid look. Whereas right now it's pretty transparent. You can still see through it. Uh, so us putting that white hit on the back gives it that solid color and doesn't it makes it non-transparent so you can't see through it. And for large orders, we've had this bed completely full with awards. So again, just a great process here, going through, getting the top row first. So, I mean, to recap a little bit, it starts with those huge seats of clear acrylic that come to us in slabs. We take it, we cut it into, let's say, four by six rectangles. They buff it, they sand it, they send it over here, they jig it, and now it's being printed. Then it'll be, you know, clean, wrapped, and that's how your order goes from, you know, step A to step C. Yeah, so the next next department we'll check out would be our is gonna be our fabrication department. So any of our awards that require any assembly or any kind of um, any kind of uh, buffing, for example, any kind of last minute changes before they go to the shipping department uh, gets done actually in our fabrication department. Uh, so what we're gonna walk over here, hopefully they got some cool awards being put together for us. Looks like we are gluing some custom acrylic awards. So you can see we got these nice acrylic circles on a base they don't always come on a base you can see they start there's all the bases there's all the tops we got our friend wayne here great guy assembling all these awards for us uh, so what he's going to do right now he's cleaning it off to make sure he gets that nice seal on the bottom there so there's no air bubbles anything in that and what he's doing is actually dipping that bottom in glue so this is our acrylic glue and once he sets that up there how long do you think you got wayne until that thing sets in this permanent one minute. One minute he's got. You got one minute one to set minute. it there and make sure that it's it's nice and even on the base. Yep. As you can see, guy's excellent. They're all in line. Look at that. Look at that. They are all the same. Wayne, keep so up it's good a, work. Another labor intensive process because <laughs> you know you can see these circles had to be cut, they had to be printed, the bases had to be cut, and then the time it takes for him to line them up, glue them, set them down. Uh, you know, it takes some extra time that may not be realized when you get the finished product. Mm -hmm. Then we got another cool station right now that we have set up for is for our acrylic barriers. So in getting the, our barriers out the door, we got this nice big station set up here um, to do so. So you can see we got some jigs there. Um, this is for, for the hinges to make sure that the hinges are all lined up. So you can see we made all these nice jigs so make it make it as easy as possible for our assembly team and uh, for our customers to make sure that we guarantee that their hinges are always lined up and we're always sending out a quality quality product. Oh, oh. And we got Lewis over here. This is our bent acrylic like Scott showed you in uh, in the beginning. So what this is actually just a heat bar. Actually, it feels pretty nice right now with the temperature outside. Uh, so what Lewis does is he puts that piece of acrylic on there and it heats up that bending point so that he could just simply bend it and it becomes its own base. So if this was an award, for example, that little bent piece could be its base. Thanks, Lewis. So yeah, with the, um, with the volume of barrier sales we've had, these, these rigs have been extremely important to us to be able to punch the amount of barriers that we have out the door uh, in the time frame that we have been able to. We've been able to keep our barrier lead time at 10 days at max, even with orders of 3000 plus coming through our factory at a time. And now we're, we're actually at the last step. So this is our, our shipping and wrapping department. So this is the, the last stop. Actually, we got a nice acrylic award being cleaned over here. So you can see each award. So these just, these came from our laser department where we saw those uh, nice Atabar awards being lasered. So those came from that department. They come here, but before they're packaged, he actually just got done cleaning this one up. So that award was just hand clean and put into the box in its own protective bag with bubble wrap and then boxed right up in there. So you can see that 
even our wrapping department is, is really our last quality control area. So we really have quality control at every department where we don't have um, we don't have less quality awards coming um, in making it through to, to this department. We have uh, different um, catches in each department to make sure that it does not happen. So just to give you an idea, you know, of all the different products, we go from, you know, a lucite cutout. Uh, and here's another lucite block. And then you have a nice glass. So you can see a wide assortment when you come in the wrapping all the different projects and purposes people are using us for. Yeah, and then you got like the bigger packaging here. These would be our barriers. So obviously it's it's a, it's a wide variety what our what our wrapping team ends up with in their hands. We got a couple of uh, the small barrier components being packaged over here in, in one of our nice boxes. You can see we got the foam already on the box. So these are not moving. That foam is in there. That's going to hold them all tight throughout shipping. Again, just another aspect that this does have that mask on there. So you can see it looks like frosted acrylic. That's that, uh, that's that mask that we were talking about to protect it during shipping so it doesn't get any scratches, any dinks, anything like that. And then finally, the last step before it goes out the door, all of our award pallets. So you can see this one's 35 barriers there. We got another 40 barriers all on here. Uh, these are all barriers actually. But yeah, again, all shrink wrapped. Got some more barriers getting ready to be skidded up here. Just a great overall process. Like I said, start to end, we have quality control checkpoints everywhere to make sure that, that we're not getting to the last step and then have to come back to restart the award. So that's. That's where as an organization, we take so much pride in being able to, to maintain the quality we do because actually here's our great plant manager, Hank. Give PPAC a little thumbs up. There you go, guys. Uh, he's the man that makes it all happen. He's the brains behind the operation. Um, just out here. Excuse me. But, Did you guys so from that, uh, that, that shows you everything that we have here at Pace Center. Um, But yeah, so does anybody have any questions? We can open it up for questions if you have any. Um, you can unmute or you can put them in the chat, either one. That was an awesome tour. Thank you. I think it's amazing for people to see how manual the whole process still is with awards, that so many different people touch it before it goes out the door. So very cool. Yeah. Oh, we got one more thing from Jim here. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> hey everybody, I hope Hi. you enjoyed the tour. Uh, we really enjoy uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, we, it's like you, you're walking through and we miss all of you. In the matter of uh, school, bar school desk barriers, there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of need for that. It's gonna be coming up as the, as the funding uh, develops. Uh, so as you see those opportunities, keep in touch with us. We can help you land those jobs. There's some really big ones that are out there. Uh, we know how to work it. Uh, be on the lookout for it. There's a lot of business there and, and we can help you land it. So good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. I don't you. see any questions. Stacy, do you, am I missing anything? Uh, nope, just a lot in the chat. Just a lot of thank you very, very much. Yes. It's uninformative. Um, you guys are all heroes. Thank you so much. Really enjoyed it. This was really beneficial for the members to see. So we we really thank you. appreciate you taking the time. Absolutely. Yeah, we know we've like kind of, you know, you run through this factory and you try and cover as much as possible. Yeah. So it's a lot. But uh, anytime anyone has questions, feel free to reach out to one of us or anybody here. So. We're Do you guys want to help. share your share your emails? Uh, sure. Mine is uh, Scott S C O T T dot S O D like sod at Paysetter Awards Awards is plural dot com. 
Yep. And I'm uh, just Sam, S A M dot read, R E E D, at pacesetterawards.com. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thank you both so much. This was great. You were our very first virtual um, factory tour, and I think it went really, really well. So thank you so much for pulling that together. No problem. I appreciate pleasure. you guys having us. Of course. And if you have any feedback on things that you know you'd like to see him like better about the tour next time, just let us know. We'd love to hear any feedback. Okay, we will. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank right, have you. a great day. day. Take care. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.